What up guys, Nate Bauer here with Vitamin Energy and you're about to check out an easy intro heavy bag hit workout. So maybe you wanna try a hit workout you know, on the heavy bag, obviously through some boxing, but you haven't really tried a hit session before. You don't really know what they entail or how hard they are or the boxing punch numbers. All good though, I got you guys covered. What we're gonna run through in this heavy bag boxing session, it's all hit, is gonna give you guys the boxing numbers, the punch numbers, so you have those dialed in. I'm gonna show you some defensive pieces for slipping, ducking, blocking, etc. so you guys have that dialed in. And then we're gonna run through an easier, I wouldn't say necessarily simple, but an easier hit workout to prepare you for, for killer sessions coming up here on the Vitamin Energy YouTube channel. Let's get ready, the punch numbers are coming up first. Right, have fun with it. One set to go, guys. All right, guys, let's get it done. Here's what we're going to do first. Every boxing combination or every punch has a number attached to it. So again, some coaches call a two, three, two. Some coaches would call that a right hand, left hook, right hand. But when it comes to workouts and stuff like that, what's nice is when you can learn the numbers for your boxing combinations, number one, it's easier to script it in your workouts and it's easier for you to hear it and implement that on the bag. So I always teach clients, workouts, everything with punch numbers instead of just calling the punches. Lots of people teach different ways. I find this the most effective and most efficient, all right? So you're gonna get into your boxing stance here. I want you to feel your legs working. I want you to tuck your chin. And I want you to think that your left hand is your forward hand. And I'm self, I'm, I am not self, I am orthodox. So I'm a right-handed fighter. I'm a right-handed fighter, which means my left hand is in the front and that's my jab hand. What I want you to do is get in position here, and we're gonna work your punch numbers first, right away, okay? We're gonna get into this, guys. Your first one is the number one, or the jab, so your jab comes out here, like this, right? I want you to pop the right shoulder back a little bit and sting the bag with your jab, here. When I make contact with my jab, it can be this way, right here, or it can be this way. I like to turn it over, and I always say that because it gives you a better contact point on your mid big middle knuckle. And as you jab a lot in a fight, it causes cuts. I know it sounds vicious, but two facts, all right? So here, this is the number one. Now to increase the power on this, two things, you put your right shoulder back, and you step with your front foot. And breathing on every single punch. That's the annoying part that you hear a lot of times in boxing where people are doing us, 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 right? Some people don't like that, but it's part of the game. So every time you punch, breathe, it does matter. It allows you to relax, huh, embrace, huh, and develop more speed as you're throwing your punches. It makes a huge difference. Now that's the one here, jab. The two is the right hand or the cross. That's your first power hand here, two. You'll notice my back hip rotates when I throw the two. Important things about the right hand is make it, keep it fairly loose. And you wanna close your hand just before it hits the heavy bag. If you don't feel comfortable with that, just keep it clenched the whole time, okay? So that's number two. My left hand stays up, I'm on my stance. This hip rotates over, my left shoulder pops back, and I'm here. My right shoulder lands right beside my jaw. And then breathe. All right, that's the right hand with the number two. Number three is the left hook. I'll show you from this side. You're in your boxing stance. Here, here, that's your left hook. That's your left hook. You can think about stirring the pot, right? You can think about sliding your form across a shelf or the kitchen counter here, okay? You think about breaking through a glass window before you get to your opposite shoulder. So you break through here, break through it, and then bring it back. 
Key points you don't want to overdo is you don't want to over rotate and turn your head because now you have to make all that room up coming back. Again, it's my rear, my forward facing arm. My one is the jab, three. So this is all odd numbers. This is all even numbers. Yeah, I'm making sense now. So here, that's a one. This is a three. One, three. Now watch the footwork. Boom, 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 boom. One, three, one, three. Notice I'm not over rotating my head. Now, but your head controls your spine. So if I tell my, if I turn my head this much, I'm telling my spine to turn this way. And the more I turn over here, the more I gotta wait, I'm gonna make my way back. So you're wasting energy. We wanna be efficient. Boom, that's your three. Let's throw it on the bag. Hands up. Three. Just rotate the front foot. Some people rotate both feet. Depends on your style. I particularly, I like more the pivot in the front. And again, that big middle knuckle at the top makes contact and breathe with it. That's number three. Back on this side for the four. Remember, odd, odd numbers, even numbers, odd numbers, even numbers, forward hand, rear hand, forward leg, rear leg, okay? So here, four is a right hook here. So this is the three, this is the four. I rotate the back hip or the rear hip for the four here. Now, one thing with the three and the four, when you hear three body, it's a hook to the body. When you hear four body, it's a hook to the body. So three head, which is just the number three, four head, which is just the number four, and then three to the body, there, four body, there. Three, now four body, three head, four body, four head, three body. All right, so remember that as well, okay? It's more about the punches now. We can dive into the footwork and stuff like that at a later video, all right? So here, number five. Here is an uppercut. There's your uppercut. That's your left or lead hand uppercut. And with the uppercut, again, don't let this leg dip in too much unless you plan on throwing something after or pivoting off that, which again is a little more advanced. Left uppercut here. Plant this foot deep into the floor, extend your hip up with the uppercut. Boom. Boom. That's a five, okay? Remember guys, we're, one thing you should know with hip workouts, the idea is a, more, a massive calorie burn. It's not necessarily a ton of technique. You always want to be efficient with your punches. And it, like I always say, it doesn't have to be perfect for these hit sessions, but it's got to be right. So think about being as efficient as you can under the situation with fatigue so that you get the most of the workout. You want to get the most of the workout with a little bit less than perfect technique, especially if you're a beginner because you don't know anything yet. It's all about building that foundation. Now the six is the right uppercut. Again, you're staying on your position here. Boom. The position when you land it, when you bring it up, bring the forearm to the ceiling. Now the back leg, you have two options. You can push straight to the floor and extend the hip up this way. Just push down, extend the hip up. Like that, into the floor, extend up. Seems subtle, but you generate a lot of force there. Or you can give a little bit of a pivot. <sighs> right? And on the heavy bag with your uppercuts, your five and your six, you just graze them, especially if you're a beginner. You want to graze them so you don't jam up your wrist. That's important in the beginning. So here, six, here, five. Six, five. Six, five. Six, five. Okay, that's your five and your six, your left and right uppercut. There are eight punches, but we're going to roll through one to six in the beginning so we can speed this up and get into the workout. One thing I also want to review for you guys is now some defense. 
So get into the camera, watch me, do this with me. Your gloves are on, you're ready to go. Cover, you're blocking all those punches coming through. So if I'm doing this to you, you're here. I'm trying to take you out and you're covering, but you're standing strong on your legs. Cover it, strong. You're still looking forward, you still can, your vision, your visual line is still forward. You're chucking your chin and nothing's getting through. That's a cover, okay? Slip right here, slip right here. If I'm facing this way, slip right there, slip right there, slip right there, okay? Back around, slip left or SL here. Slip right in the, in the text will say uh, SR and then slip left will say SL. So here, slip, slip left. Slip left, slip left. And watch this guys, my head is not here. You gotta be really skilled and experienced to get away with that. I'm leaning forward a little bit on my legs. Because if I lean too far back, now I have to, again, come back into that position. So slip left, slip right, slip left, right? Slip right, slip left. I get it from this way, my slip left. Here. I'm still controlled. I can throw something off of that. There. That's my slip left, okay? Now, from there, the last two things. Block right. Covering your body, chin down. Block right. Block right. I can still see forward. Block right. Block right. And then block left. Block left. There, right? When you block, you want to think we're protecting your head and your body. You don't want to be too high up here because if someone fakes and they throw a body shot, the first time you get hit one of those, you won't forget, all right? Trust me. I still don't forget. I remember plain as day what that feels like. Block right, both. Block left, both. Upper and lower here, okay? Those are the punches I want you guys to always think about. One to six, you have your slip right, slip left, cover. You have your block right, block left. The last thing I actually want you guys to think about now is your duck right, duck left. So you're in your position here. If I'm throwing a looping hook or a hook at you guys, any type of hook or even a long right hand, you can duck to the right and then duck to the left. Draw a basketball with your head. Get under it. Get under it. And there's ways to move faster with your ducking. There's ways to make it short. There's ways to fake it and then come back up. You can roll under, right? Where you roll instead of duck. But all I want you to think about for now is ducking to your right, DR, duck to your left, DL, duck to your right, DR, duck to your left, DL for now, okay? Your hands up while you do that, don't drop them down unless you're really badass. All right, so keep that in mind. So again, guys, those punches are what I want you to think about for the session. It's all about getting you guys dialed in so you understand what's necessary to get the maximum effort out of these hit workouts. All right, so let's get ready. All right, guys, so how the workout works, enough jibba jabba. We're gonna get into the heavy bag and dig into this bad boy. You have 45 seconds of a hard maximum combination, and then you have 30 seconds of a moderate work. It could be defense or movement around the bag. Again, you guys are still learning. We're gonna do that for 30 seconds. We're gonna do those two exercises for four sets before we change it up. Those four sets are considered one round. In round number two, we change the exercises and we do another four sets. We're gonna do six complete rounds. I want hard as you can for 45 seconds, and then moderate work, so just, again, active recovery, and let's crush this workout. I'm gonna voice you guys through this with my mic so you guys have fun with this. I'm gonna motivate you. And again, in the comments, let me know how it was, and if you need some vitamin energy, get it, light it up, and let's go to work. Awesome. All right, guys, one, twos, 45 seconds, maximum effort. Jab, cross. Ready? Let's go. Look at the target. 
you can move around the bag a little bit and own it. Jab, cross, jab, cross, jab, cross, jab, cross. Make sure you're breathing. 15 seconds. Now half circles, you're gonna go around the bag, this way, and around this way, all right? That's what you're gonna do. When you push right, push off your left foot, and you move left, push off your right foot. You can see I'm not moving fast, but I am moving. Right, you're good. Let's go. One twos. Again, you can step with the jab. You can step with the one. Turn the hip over on the right hand. Look at your target. Come on, keep pushing guys. It's your first time, do what you can do. Half circles. You can go one way, change, go the other. Ready to go again. Set number two or set number three, guys. Set number three, one, twos. Come on. Stay with me. As you go through these workouts, they get harder and harder. But first, you need to know what they're like, what to expect. Could I go harder? Of course. But I'm here to show you what these workouts involve. That's why it's called intro, right? Come on. Half circles. All right? You're not moving too hard. Nothing complicated. Having some fun with this one. Let's go, last set guys, set number four. Move around the bag on this one. Stay on those legs. Move, 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 move. Left to right, right to left. Jab, cross, jab, cross, you got it. Ten seconds. Stay with me. Keep moving. Come on, guys. Look, you can move. Smaller pieces. If you need a little bit of a break, catch your breath. Move smaller pits. Pits. Move smaller bits. Come on, Bauer. Get it together. Come on. Right. And after this set, we're gonna take a 30-second break and move into your next round. Round number two for four more sets. 30 seconds rest, guys.
city with rappers looking for carrots and cabbage or whatever these rappers are calling money these days. Ladies tripping, but the whole All right, guys, the next combination coming up in 10 seconds is a left hook, right hand. Three, two. Again, we're reviewing all the punches you learned and the, and the shots or in the punch combo numbers. All right. Three, two is coming up. Left hook, right hand. Ready? Let's go. Three, two. You can change the pace if you want. Right? More power or more speed. Three, two. Move a little bit. Okay, and then here, just step left and step right. Step left, step right. Right, so again, basic footwork, very basic. You can step right a couple times, change position. Step right, step left, stay low, chin down. You're still in a good position to go back to work. Three, two, one, let's go. Move a little, you can stay still. But I want effort, control, determination, 10 seconds, a little grit, and a whole lot of fun when it's done. Right? Set number two down, step left, step right. You can step right first if you want, then step left, right? Hands up, your right hand can be forward a little bit, right? That's what you want, they can be up really tight if you want. Again, different styles, it's all good. There's nothing wrong with adopting your own style that suits you. Just get good at it. Number three, let's go. I'm gonna stay right here. Come on. That's right, stay in the pocket and grind. You grabs, breathe. Come on. Twist, 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 twist. Let's go back here. One set to go, step left, step right. Step left, step right. Keep going. Again, guys, the beautiful thing about boxing is that what you don't realize you're using full body movements, you're shredding, you're learning something new. And on this channel, you're gonna see a lot of awesome workouts by a variety of people, which is pretty awesome, okay? So stay tuned and get ready for those. Come on, last one. Move on this one. Move to your left. Thirty seconds. Now move to your right. Strong position. Push off your left foot to move right. It's awesome. Sweat hitting the floor. Done. Come on. Ten seconds. Step left, step right, or step right, step left. It's all good. Pick one. Guys, you can think of 
stepping, throwing combinations when you step to one side, right? If you're a guy who loves to learn quicker than others, or chica, I don't just mean dudes, right? You can do it this way. 30 second break. That's here we go. We're gonna go into round number three. Now by now, some of you might be feeling your shoulders starting to shred out a little bit. Welcome, it's a beautiful thing. In this round coming up, we're throwing a one, two, three, four body. One, two, three, four body, okay? One, two, three, four body. So not here, that four body shot. Let's go. Inside, step inside closer to the bag. Shh, shh, shh. Go, hands up. Right inside the middle of the ring. Uh, make them feel that right hook to the body. Uh, body, hook body, head body. And then here, cover on the bag. When it comes in, cover, move around a little bit. Get used to squeezing your arms together when the bag comes through. On your stance, on your legs a little bit. Tuck the chin. Ready? Five seconds, same combo. One, two, three, four body. Let's go. Got it? Let's go. One, two, three, four body. 30. Inside. All day. You got this. Hear the rhythm. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Work that. Let them feel that right hook. Cover as the bag comes in. Set number two done. Right after this one, we move into set number three. You hear me breathing heavy a little bit? It's all good. I'm not here to play around. I'm not gonna edit out my effort. I wanna show you how hard it is, even though it's a beginner. Intro, it's still work. Never forget that. Let's go, set number three. Dig in, dig in with both hooks. One, two, hook, hook. Turn the body over. Hook, hook. Make noise. Give it effort. Nobody else cares. They want to know what you're doing. That's so hard. Let's go. See? Beautiful work, crew. Come on. Cover. Cover. When you're here, you're too strong to let those punches get through. You're too strong. One more set, All right? One more set. Ready? Let's go, guys, come on. A little faster now. Last set. <laughs> C 
Come on, grind with me. Here we go. Vitamin Energy YouTube channel, Need Power Fitness. Come on, bringing it to you. You got this, guys. What's your intent? To get it done or to put in maximum amount of effort? Right to side, come on, cover. I don't care if it's your first time. Chances are it won't be your last. Make a solid mark on how well you went through it. Set your standards high, that's what we do here. Come on. I remember my boxing coach told me once I was a diamond in the rough and it pissed me off because I want to be a diamond right away. You can be too. Good work, guys. The next combination is a two, five, six, one, maximum. A two, five, six, one, two, five, six, one, two, five, six, one. Graze the bag on those fives and sixes. You ready? Let's go. Right? Two, five, six, one, two, five, six, one, two. This one, guys, a little more technique. So we're gonna challenge you a little bit more. Technically, they can't all be easy, right? And now here, block right, block left. Again, you're just moving around on this one. Don't stay still. Block right, block left. Move your head a little bit. Boom, 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 boom. 10 seconds. Set one down, set number two. Let's go. See, you can throw your uppercut from outside. Get a little slot there, gonna reset. guys two five six one two five six one block left or right strong work on your footwork a little bit slightly move see already if you've never done hit workouts you can see how intense these can get we haven't even trained legs yet Get ready, three, two, let's go. Thirty seconds. Ah. Get your come on. Guys, it's okay to mess up. Just recover. Not every punch is gonna be perfect, ever. See, one left. Set three down, cover, come on. Block. You can be a little fancier if you want. Boom, right? Why not? Just... Lots you can do. Just block against the bag. 
simulated a punch. One more set. Let's go. You got this. See, I mess up. Ah, it's all good though. Come on, last one, block. Right? Again, guys, if you mess up, who cares? This is not a highly technical workout. It's about getting the sweat on, moving, learning some combos, and diving into the vitamin energy channel with some of the workouts you're gonna be doing, right? So don't worry about your technique right away. Worry about your effort. 30 seconds rest, round number five, coming up. So again, right here is when some of you may be starting to get really tired. Some of you may, may want more. That's totally normal. All good. In this round, you're throwing three combos, whatever punches you've learned so far. You can throw a head movement in there, whatever you want. Three punches at a time, then move. Three punches, move. Three punches, move. Now I'm testing you to see how fast you pick up instruction. Ready? If you want to go harder, this is your chance. Let's go. Three punches and move. Three punches and move. This is your chance to work harder. Be creative. Show me what you've learned. Now here, push the heavy bag, throw a jab. Push the heavy bag, cross. Push heavy, one. Push heavy bag, two, non-stop. Right, keep your position. Cover, two, cover, one. Cover, you got that now, come on. Let's go, three punches and move. Throw four if you want more. Throw four if you want more, sounds good. All right, you can throw four inside. Four, five, whatever you want. Use your punches that you've learned. Body, head, head, body. Whatever you want. Now's your chance. Let's go. Cover. One. Cover. Two. You can double it up if you want. It's up to you guys. Right? You can be creative. You can pick it up a little bit, always. You can switch up one twos, two ones. I'm giving you ideas. Feel free to accelerate those. Let's go. Three or four punch combos. Move. Uh. 
Hola. Set number three done. One to go. Cover. One twos. Whatever you want. Mainly block that bag. Right? Have fun with it. One set to go, guys. Last one. Inside, let's go. Work inside. Small movements. All right, guys, what we're gonna do here is I want you to squat. So coming up, you're gonna squat. Shh. One, two, one, two, squat. One, two, one, two, squat. One, two, one, two, squat. One, two, one, two, okay? I wanna see how many of those you can get in two straight minutes. Your job in 30 seconds is to start going and to count. Every time you do one, you're gonna go here, squat. One. Two, three, four, five, okay? Straight for two minutes. Here's the thing. I'm gonna push you through, guys, for two minutes. Show me. Show me how many reps you can get for two minutes. Are you ready? ready? Two minutes. Squats, one, two, one, two, come on. Follow me. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Come on. Ten, eleven, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Come on. Sixteen, seventeen. 19, 20, already. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Look right at your spot. 12, 13. 14, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20, that's 40 down. One, two, three, four, five, six, Come on, 30 seconds.
12, 13, 15, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's 60. Good work, guys. Check out more workouts here on the Vitamin Energy YouTube channel. Thanks for training with us. Get ready for more killer sessions. If you need energy, you know where to get it. And I'll talk to you soon for the next Boxing Heavy Bay Hit Workout. Guys, as I send you off from this video, straight up, you threw 1,446 punches if you did this workout at the same intensity I did. Don't underestimate the power that you have to get these workouts done. Figure out what your intent is before you start. Shred to the workout and know that if you do this workout at my pace, you're gonna throw 1,446 punches. That's a lot of calories. That's a huge increase in conditioning. And again, that's a lot of mental focus and mental toughness. This is Nate Bauer here with the Vitamin Energy YouTube channel. Hit that sub button and we'll see you for the next killer boxing heavy bag hit workout. Good work, guys.